All right, so this is a 2010 Mercury Grand Marquis uh, he heater blend door actuator failed. Um, there's a way to kind of get a trouble code from your automatic display, your temperature selection display, um, and it'll throw up some fault codes, and that verified what I thought was the problem. Anyways, this is the blend door actuator. This is the new one. Um, this, I believe a shop will charge you six hours to do this job. Um, it's not fun, but it can be done without ripping the entire dash out. So if you notice, there's four holes on this actuator. The top left one is for an alignment pin, not a piece of hardware to hold it down. So you have two pieces of hardware on the front and then one middle one in the back. The one in the back is an absolute nightmare to get to. So it goes in there just like this. The two top tabs face the firewall and then this faces the passenger compartment. So it lays in there just like this and I'll show you where it goes. So this is, you have to take your airbag out um, and then this heater pipe here. Have to take that out if you look way back in there let's see if i can get a better look at it you can see the mounting locations for that actuator now that back one toward the firewall is an absolute nightmare but you can get it out with a proper tool so it's 5 16 hardware you're gonna need one of these um, and you may have to bend it a little bit more in order to reach back there and get it but it can be done so if you could find one of these that is ratcheting would be even better but I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to find one and then for the front the other pain in the butt location is this front one that's tucked in right through this little hole you can get to it with a 5 16 ratcheting short wrench so I can't find it right now this car is kind of tore apart okay I did find it so that bolt you can get to with this Fairly small, 5 16 ratcheting open end wrench. Um, but yeah, this is not a fun job. I uh, don't envy anyone that has to do this, but it can be done. Um, once you get the bolts out, it just drops in. You bolt it back up and you're good to go. Hope this helps somebody and uh, we'll talk to you later.